G'day, welcome back to the 40 channel. So today we're doing something uh, a little bit more of an upgrade to the Troopy. Dad's gonna help us out. Today we're putting in a molded floor from True Fit Auto. Now, which is really cool about this, we put it in the FJ40 uh, way back in that build. But the other really cool thing is that these guys have done a whole lot of prizes for long drive for a drought. Do custom fit vinyl floor, custom fit carpets, and custom fit floor mats your 40 series Land Cruiser. So, True Fit Auto, check these out, and if you're keen on it, follow the Long Drive for a Drought Facebook page, and you can own some as well. All right, Dad, let's get into it. You betcha. All right, now the first thing we need to do, obviously, is pull all the seats out, pull all the bracketry out, everything out so that the vinyl floor can go straight down. We're also going to put like a, uh, a sound deadener or insulation underneath this vinyl floor that also comes from True Fit Auto. All right, so we've swept all the floor out, we've vacuumed it all out, there's still a bit of dust here. But the last thing I'm going to do is actually spray it all out with some Chem Tools R1. Now the reason I'm going to do that is before the vinyl floor goes on, it just means that if there's any little small cracks or crevices in this old beast that we haven't got to in the rust repair stages. This will soak into all those last little bits and help just give that little bit of rust protection underneath the vinyl floor and the sound deadening. So, and it comes up really nice too, not that anyone's ever going to see it again. Especially around all these points, any points that have all the bolts that go through them. And then we'll just wipe it all off. comes in two pieces so you've got your rear and your front put the rear piece in first and then the front can overlap it hopefully it'll look pretty neat with images doing it so you know, this is uh check out the rear piece well uh, so this is the uh the rear bit of vinyl now they're very generous in the uh what they give you so there's lots of green on it so we can um trim it to fit and on top of that it's got uh already heat molded areas around where it sits around the wheel wells. So we'll uh, use a heat gun and we'll mold it all in place. Right, so we're gonna use a heat gun, some of these uh, fantastic scissors, and we're just gonna work our way from one side to the other, heat it. Now it's a bit of a colder day today. If you're in a warmer climate, this stuff works really well. Let it sit out in the sun for a good hour. It's gonna be a lot easier to work with, but Bathurst, Coming to the end of winter, we still got to work with what we've got. So we're going to work from the passenger side right over the driver's side, slowly mould and just trim away where we need to. Right, it's so much easier to work with when it's soft. Now we can see our line comes along and follows this contour down. Now they've already put this contour in for us, so we're just trying to mold it down into there. But we're gonna cut a slit just here and that'll fold down, hopefully give us a nice neat finish on that. Our top vinyl will sit over this and overlap just over where our seat mounts go. So we've gotta make sure that we put all our holes and all that type of stuff in place, but we'll go through that as well. I'm just warming this vinyl all the way in, just helps it relax into all our contours and that, just to sit on it nice and straight. And then as we're going, we're just slowly just taking little trims just around these little spots here that we need to. We don't want to take too much. We can always take more off later. So that way we can take a trim, heat it up, let it sit in and keep our working our way back. Our front piece will have an overlap by about 10-15mm over this, so as long as we don't cut too far back, 
we're fine. So we're just slowly taking some cuts and working ourselves around. You've got all these corners here. Now, we've got all sorts of build up and seal sealant. That's original Toyota stuff. So you might have to work around all that. But just take little cuts as you can and then see how the vinyl just sits and relaxes into it and then we'll heat back into it. Right, so we're right over to the driver's side now. We've just trimmed around, cut this. Now we're gonna start molding this around. So you can see that you can't cut straight lines because as it molds down, it pulls it in. So you can see that's pulled down. So we're in a nice straight line along here. But as you pull that down, that line was coming down. So make sure that you line it up before you make the cut. Now we've got our last little cut up here. So a bit of heat and then working all the way along here. So a little bit of trimming and work to do, but it'll look Mickey Mouse when it's done. Right, so we're gonna punch the holes where our seat belts go. So our seat belt bolts and our bolts to hold down our seats. Now, how do we do that? Well, here's one we've done. How do we get that so perfect? I'll show you. So just pull back our vinyl. There's our hole. We'll just get a bolt and screw it into that hole. We'll lay our vinyl back over it. We'll put a bit of heat on it. Not too much or you'll burn your hand. Give it a press. You can see the outline of our bolt right there take that bolt back out bit of nylon or timber or something like that get a hole punch now we've got a hole and that hole lines directly up with our bolt holes uh, Dad's brought the front piece down. Now this one's going to be a little bit trickier because we've got gear sticks and handbrakes and mounts for our seat to get around. So again, a bit of time and patience. Right, uh, so working with the front part, obviously it's a lot trickier because you've got uh, two gear sticks and a handbrake. But the trick is to work with the bits we know. So we know we've got this hump that's already pre-molded into it. With our two seat mount humps that are pre-molded into it using them as your datum and working back this way what we did here around each hole was made a small cross and that way what that allowed us to do was either make the cut higher lower or further and just slowly open that hole up little bit by little bit and you can see we've worked around our main gear stick you can see the cross in here, so you can actually see that we need to cut back this way. So that worked out well. And then with this one, we did the same, some crosses, and we're just slowly working around our gear stick now. So be patient. On a cold day, it makes it a lot harder because it's stiff. But the uh, heat gun and patience. All right, so as you can see, we're just taking off small bits at a time and then just pressing it down and test fitting as we go so make sure yeah there's also be careful with your brake wires around here for your handbrake light don't cut through them when you're trying to cut your vinyl Right, uh, we're at that process now where it's very close to fit. So yes, it took some time, a lot of heating and very small trimming around, especially all your gear sticks and your gear sticks and handbrake around all the edging where your feet go. Took our time and sometimes we're only taking like a couple mil off at a time just to get it to fit nicely. Now we're gonna pull it all back out. We're gonna put our felt underneath it, put the seats on top. Once the seats are all bolted in, can't go anywhere then we can give it its last final heat 
and just mold that in into the foot wells. So we'll get dad, we'll rip it all out and then we'll put it all back in again. So we're only going to pull the back piece out, put our felt over, mark our holes out, and then we'll put our felt under the foot wells. And we could even tuck a bit under here if we really want, but we probably won't. All right, we've just cut all our uh, felt to size. Now, before we chuck the seats in, we'll just slide that up underneath our floor here. It's amazing how this vinyl goes hard after you've heated it and molded it into place. And being a coolish day doesn't help. Righto, so the vinyl floor is in. Now, to be honest, it's not for the faint hearted, is it, Dad? No, definitely not. <laughs> so you rust, look, you really do need to take your time with it. Lots of trimming, heat gun, and it comes up quite nice in the end. It's actually a really nice finish. It looks immaculate. Now the only job is to try and keep it clean. So the other thing TrueFit Auto have given us are these custom fit floor mats now these have been cut and molded so if you don't have vinyl floor and you just want to grab some floor mats these will drop straight in and give a really nice finish so these will just tidy it all up keep our vinyl floor nice and clean and the cool thing is if you jump on the long drive for a drought facebook page these will be coming up and you'll be able to win a pair and donate some money to a fantastic cause so keep your eye on that because that'll be coming up soon so we'll chuck them in as I found the last build, the FJ40, the vinyl floor seems to settle over the next couple of weeks. Whether it's the heat from the cab that slowly settles it all in place, but it just seems to find its place and rest over the next couple of weeks. Anyway, Dad, Very that good. was uh, fantastic. Really appreciate you coming over and giving me a hand today. It was a big job. Yeah, please. But the uh, result was fantastic. Thanks, Thanks Dad. Good on you. you. Appreciate it. Okay. Righto, guys, so if you want to keep following up, Long drive from drought is coming up, so there'll be a fair few bits and pieces coming up, but there will be a gap before we're filming because we'll be away, then we need to edit, then we need to get it up. So feel free to subscribe, leave a comment, and until next time, take care of yourselves.